Welcome back to another edition of NDLAX TV. This week we have a drill that really focuses on terminology, tone, volume, off-ball stance that are so critical to, to strong team defense. And so the drill is called Simon Says because we're trying to teach our guys to react to the terminology and the direction that their off-ball teammates are giving to a slide defenseman. So let's go to the board here. Uh, again, the name of the drill is Simon Says, and it can have two or three different um, participants in that drill. And so uh, you can, it could be one or two. So we have uh, a slide man, and in the video you'll see he's configured relative to, a, to an alley dodge. And so when you see the video, there's a make-believe dodger. There's only three people in this drill. They're all defensemen. We have a slider and two off-ball defenders who are communicating at the slide man. He's orienting himself relative to an alley dodge or a corner dodge. So when you see the video, you'll hear the specific instruction that these off-ball defenders are giving the, uh, the slide man, and you're watching him react to this instruction. He's reacting to, in a real game, maybe there's a fill cut. Maybe there's a pop, maybe there's a sneak, and they're telling him what to be aware of. And so it's obviously unrealistic because there's no offensive players in this drill, and you can't always predict what your opponents are going to do, but it really allows us to become confident in using our terminology that are very specific to our defense and your defense as well to react because he doesn't have time to turn around and give the guy a thumbs up or to turn around and say, yes, I heard you. The only way the off-ball defenders know if the slide guy heard him is by his reaction. Coaching points. So again, create two and three person groups. You know, we work in the space that we have. So whatever space you have, you create two or three person groups. And what I like to try to do is have an upperclassman, maybe a sophomore, and a freshman, because one of the things that you're trying to achieve is can your freshman really understand the language that you're using and the new team that they're on, and do they have the confidence to use it appropriately and with the right volume. So you're going to specify maybe the three or four terms and situations that you're trying to replicate. It might be a popping attackman, it might be a filling midi, it might be a sneaking attackman, it might be some, the, the crease attackman popping be underneath the slide guy when he tries to make his assessment of whether he needs to slide or not. So you're going to specify that before you start the drill. One of the things as the coach, and particularly the upperclassmen who are running that group, you want to make sure that the tone and the volume and the confidence with which they're delivering, this language is there. So as I'm roaming the group of 20 plus guys that I might have in my area, that's what I expect the upperclassmen. Are they, are they saying the right things? Are they reacting in the right way? And do they have the right tone and volume? Because you'd rather be loud and wrong than quiet and right. We can correct someone who's loud and wrong. Um, you, know, you want to make sure from a footwork and a reaction standpoint, the person who's receiving the language, is he reacting? Is he in an athletic stance? Is he moving appropriately? And then the drill is fluid. You don't have to stop. So at some point, a new player will take over being in the slide roll, and the two other people will orient themselves into new positions in the drill. So you can keep this going for three, four minutes. They're going to get some conditioning. They're going to be in an athletic stance for a long time. They're going to get multiple reps in practicing the language. And 
So that that is Simon Says, and you know we hope you enjoy this drill. It's become actually one of my favorite drills. We do it at least once or twice a week because you can't ever reinforce your language enough. And more importantly, developing the confidence in your players to use it appropriately and for a freshman to be able to tell a senior All-American what to do, that's really important. I think that's really a foundation of good team defense. Thanks for watching. Please send us your comments, any ideas or, or um, ideas for future drills. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you down the road and go Irish. Sorry.